We talked about classic TV earlier in the show, and who doesn't remember this series with Lloyd Bridges? Hey, I didn't notice that before. Who's a lucky guy? What do you mean? Whatever had bothered Lucille, it didn't show now. She seemed perfectly normal as we descended to the sponge beds. I love it, descending to the sponge beds. In Sea Hunt, he made scuba diving look fun and easy, and most people didn't know he'd never been diving before the series started filming. Mike Parker founded SPE Dive School here in Washington and has taught more than 10,000 people the joys of scuba diving. I'll tell you, I've always been tempted and wanted to do it, but slightly fearful. What, what is the first thing one has to do in order to enjoy scuba diving? Obviously, you need to take a class. One has to have proper training. And that requires health and uh, basic swimming ability. Okay, when you say basic swimming ability, is that being able to do the Base, breaststroke? Uh, 200 yard swim and 10 minutes of survival floating. Okay. It doesn't have That's to look fancy basic. or competitive or anything, just basic. So you basically, no, you, you can float. Exactly. <laughs> That's important exactly. if you're going to go scuba diving. And what else does the training involve? Is there. Uh, training has three separate portions. The time-consuming part of the uh, training includes the classwork, academics, mm -hmm. as well as the pool work. And uh, that, uh, th that is done here uh, at our dive school in Chevy Chase. Uh, once the students complete the time-consuming part, then they uh, are required to complete the open water certification dives, which only So you need to spend it. some time actually doing it. Absolutely. Just as you need to learn how to drive a car and actually do exactly. it, you need to go and do this They in, need to have open. the training done before they uh, try the actual dive. What are the academics that are involved? Uh, the people learn about physics and uh, a little bit of dive okay. medicine. I don't know anything about physics. <laughs> I mean, it's seriously, very basic, is it? But it, uh, you need to know a little bit of physics to understand dive medicine. And dive medicine, of course, it's so important when it comes to safety. Right. People also le learn about more fun things like diving equipment and coral reef and fish and let's talk all about the, the equipment. Exciting things. <laughs> <laughs> so what are this? Obviously, this is not what you would use, is it? Uh, yes, snorkel is uh, used. It's a standard uh, piece of equipment for scuba divers. Even though you don't use a snorkel while you're scuba diving, it's a backup. Say. Right. Okay. So if you're in a worst case scenario situation on the surface out of air, mm -hmm. you, uh, that allows you to swim back to the beach or the boat. Oh. Uh, because a diver is weighed down somewhat by, by the gear they wear. Uh -huh. And unlike a swimmer, a diver can't lift their head up to breathe. The snorkel uh, provides you with the elevation to compensate for the fact that the body sits slightly below the surface. Slightly below the surface. Okay, this is one thing I've never been able to figure out. How do you keep these from fogging up? Um, the, the old trick I heard is you spit into them. Uh, saliva has acid in it, which uh, keeps it mask from fogging up. Uh -huh. uh, what causes fogging is... Uh, grease or oil, whether it's synthetic or natural, from your face, uh, from the hair, mm -hmm. uh, or when they're brand new, the manufacturer is silicone in there. So they clean it before they use. And what is buoyancy control? What does that mean? Buoyancy means, uh, well, uh, since the mid-80s, we've learned to protect the environment mm -hmm. instead of standing on the bottom and taking away from it and destroying it. Mm -hmm. We've learned to be neutrally buoyant, which means you don't sink, you don't float. And okay. uh, that allows you to stay motionless. So okay. the only parts of your body that uh, move when you scuba dive, your head and your eyes, and you dive to enjoy the coral reef and a fish, uh, you're not supposed to be moving your arms and legs and kick. Isn't and that's called neutral buoyancy. Isn't it hard to learn how to swim with these babes? Actually, they make <laughs> swimming a lot easier. Really? Yes. There are people <laughs> who are not great swimmers. Once they put the fins on, they, they, they get go. the power and they feel a lot more comfortable. I have to say, these are a lot lighter than the ones I probably picked up 10 years ago. Our so technology they, they has, has come made a long way. great advancements. Yes. How long does it take approximately to get the certification? Uh, our, our courses uh, are usually 36 hours, two thirds in a class, one third in a pool, but you can't take uh, courses that are as little as 10 or 12 hours. All right, I might just do it. You might see me as a student. Thanks, Mike. Thank you so much. A pleasure. Nice meeting. <laughs> okay, for more on scuba diving and other opportunities for lifelong learning, go to our website, rl.tv slash dailycafe.